grid is formed. So then, there's the five lights are coming on then. We have five lights ahead of us and they're lights out and away we go and it looks like Bean's got a pretty decent start so he's going to be able to challenge down to someone. We've got three wide moments in the background. We've got Ferrari off the track as Bean is going to go down the inside into turn one. Uh, looks like Hypers is following behind but Craig is just about taking the lead. Few cars um, exploring the track limits behind as uh, a few wing as uh, Bean is uh, Bean is coming back at Craig. Is he going to go down the inside? But the Dino Roger chicane isn't, and Craig cuts him off. And Craig leads then through uh, the first sector and into the two Lesmos. Um, as we have a bit of Arjibaji coming down at the back here, but it all seems relatively clean so far. As uh, yeah, they're all in formation as the two Has cars having a little look at each other. As uh, I think. Scott has a run. Okay, so. Oh, as uh, Jay Geddes does have damage as well, and Scott has tried to go around the outside. Of Lemon has to take avoiding action. And uh, yeah, I think they're all looking behind. I think there's a uh, Cal Smith having a little look now as he's in the slipstream of the Ferraris ahead of him as the Ferraris go side by side as well. So it's going to be two by two um, as all oh, the Ferrari of Lemon slows down. Uh, as Cal Smith tries to go around the outside of the parabolic, he's not going to get many moves around there, but isn't going to make it stick. No, he's going to stick in the slipstream as there's carnage going on over as the leaderboards have messed up completely. As, uh, yeah, Jules in the background, having a look at side by side. Uh, Cal Smith is going to go down the inside of Jake Geddes. Jules around the outside of Dingle Dolphin. Can he make the move stick? And uh, looks like. He can as Jay Geddes has uh, gone off the track somewhere. As, uh, yeah, the leaderboards have completely messed up. Uh, as we go on board with our leaders, then as uh, Craig is already out of the DRS zone of Bean. Yeah, maybe a little pit stop window opening up there as they've had a. Big tussle. Um, Gareth is sticking behind Hypers, but is too far back as the uh, timings haven't really changed too much. We'll go on board with the two Ferraris as uh, Jonesy and Sprightly going at it, and Jonesy's had an off. Uh, next to the is he's got grass on his tyres, so Ned Claw is going to go and get past him as they come up to Parabolica. And yeah, Scott has uh, got company at the moment, um, but yeah, Bean is fighting back as it seems who he is making a fight of it so far as uh, we're on to that three and TRS is enabled and uh, they don't have it just yet um, but they will have it going down towards the Ascara chicane as Cal Smith has a look on a flying lemon kind of jockeys his car around but doesn't make the move as Jay Geddes comes into the pits and I imagine he will go on the hard compound tires as Deadpool has as well so a bit of a frenetic start but everyone's keeping it clean relatively clean so far. There's, uh, there's a few trains at the back here. Um, going on, but, uh, we've got Dodgy, having said that. In the DRS of Crafty, but Crafty's in the DRS of Gareth, and Gareth's dropped off, dropped off the back of Hypers in the racing point. There's uh, Jonesy and Edcore going at it once again. As Jonesy gets ahead into Parabola, uh, not Parabola, into Ascari. Um, Scott has got a bit of a train for me. Oh, Laney has gone as he got damage. Yes. Oh, just to interrupt. Oh, Cal Smith had a little look down the inside of Fine Lemon at Parabola, and he's paid the price for it. Gone all the way off the track, um, but he's back in the slipstream. He's used up all his ERS in the first three laps already, um, so I think he's going to have to stick behind, unfortunately, and bide his time a bit longer. Um, and yeah, he does. Slots from behind, and he's in P14, but still a long way to go. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look at the position changes. Um, not really much going on, going on offer here. Um, Scott made a good start. Um, 
but yeah, besides that, the top five stay the same. Um, so Dodgy's made up the position that he needed to. Uh, Grumpy Orange had a poor start, so it's allowed people behind him to get ahead. Um, and yeah, there's a gap forming between Steve-O and Dodgy and Jonesy Sprightly. Uh, Scott is coming up towards Nedclaw. Keep an eye on that, but we're having a look at Crafty here. Um, yeah, he's about to go for a move into Parabolica. Uh, will he just break before the DRS? I think he's. Oh, there's a shallow line into there. But I think he will pick up the DRS on the exit. I think he was just behind for the detection point, and he was, so he picks up DRS, and I imagine he'll blast past the red ball here. Um, can Dodgy make any ground? He's not really using his ERS. Um, and he will stay in sip. Oh, Dodgy's late on the brakes. Oh, that's going to be dangerous. Oh, we managed to keep out of the way of the Red Bull. Oh, big switchback. Uh, had to cut the corner on the entry. I've got off board and Gareth is nowhere to be seen. So it's had a bit of a poor exit as the Red Bull man. Um, as Dingle Dolphin has made his way up. Oh, what's that? A lemon. No! Oh, someone's off. Grumpy Orange is off as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, just before you said I was about to go on board with that. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what happened, but he had his spin. Looks like he's got damage as well, and he's gone again. Um, so yeah, it's gone from bad to worse for the Ferrari man. Um, but Cal Smith is all over the back of Nedclaw here. Oh, that's a crash. Oh, that's a big crash. Dingle Dolphin's out, and that's a full safety car. As Jules has got a five-second time penalty for that collision. And that is a reprieve for the Ferrari man. And I think we're going to see people pile into pits. And I think uh, Crafty's come in, um, but this... Mm. I was just, yeah, I was just on board um, with Carl Smith lining up a move, um, and then, yeah, I just seen on the bottom of my screen. I've just seen them two come together as they entered my s entered the entered the screen, and uh, um, people in the pits. Um, they should be sticking to their deltas, so I think the top four should. I say should be all right to get out ahead of Crafty um, as they are, have passed the safety car. Um, as they well had passed the pit lane, um, so yeah, they should all be sticking to a delta still. Um, so they shouldn't lose out. Jay Geddes has a five second penalty. Um, so don't speed into the pit lane. Let's try not to do that. As Hyper's dodgy. Oh, he had to double stack, and that's going to. Wow, that's. Mm, I'd have probably double stacked. Um, yeah, um, I guess he was in a rock and a hard place with what he could do. Um, but yeah, he's going to have to catch the safety car and lose out a lot. Interesting decision from those drivers where they've gone on to the mediums as well and that is going to be a stretch and a half on the medium compound tyres. It's going to be it's going to be touch and go really. Um, as the uh, safety car gets a bit of a tank slapper coming out of the chicane, interestingly. Um, what just happened? So, uh, coming through Ascari, uh, I believe it was Jules turned round Dingle Dolphin at the end of Ascari, and Dingle Dolphin ended up, in, oh, well, they both ended up in the wall, but Dingle Dolphin has ended up out of uh, this race and is our first retirement of uh, the race. Um, 
Jules picked up a five second time penalty for the, his troubles um, rejoins in 16th place um, but the stewards I imagine might look at that a bit further Ribo says poor Dodgy will need a miracle. Um, we'll need another safety car, that's for sure. Um, no, he's just going to have to push and uh, yeah, try and try and push as hard as he can once he puts on the mediums and go ahead. Obviously, Jones in Edclaw. Um, can't really do much about that. Um, they're on the mediums, so yeah. Uh, they'll carry on. Uh, Bean, oh, Bean's ahead of Craig. I just realised that. Um, that Bean has jumped Craig in the pit lane. Um, I thought, I've no idea how that happened. Um, and I've only just seen that myself. Um, so apologies for the delay on seeing that. But Bean is now ahead of Craig. But they are on the medium compound tyres. And yeah, I, I don't really. Think, I mean. They could well. They probably will make it to the end, but whether they'll make it to the end, in yeah. yeah, it's going to be they're going to be uh, really worn. Um, so maybe the people on the hards will have the uh, longevity and will be able to just be pushing every lap, um, especially in the late phase of the Grand Prix if there isn't any more stoppages for safety cars. But it is SR Dodgy who leads the way. A safety car um, may or may not come in this lap. Um, we do have Jay Geddes uh, a long way behind. Um, so that might be what's holding us up. Um, I imagine that is what holding us up. So hopefully, hopefully it doesn't go really late and say safety car in this lap right now, um, which hasn't, so I assume we have one more lap behind the safety car, um, allow Jay Kellis to catch up, um, and yeah, we will see what happens, um, yeah, Dodgy will, well, Dodgy, Scott, and other Scott, it's Dodgy Pitts actually, um, that is rather surprising, I don't know what, I don't know why they've done that now, uh, He's going to put on the hard compound tyres for good measure, so... Um, no, Laney's on the mediums. Uh, yeah. Hmm, probably a bit of a... Yeah. <laughs> um, so, the only people who haven't stopped are our top three. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, really. Uh, right off just going in the next lap and yeah taking it on the chin really um, now they're in traffic um, and as I mentioned before Dodgy has a 25 point lead in the championship and it was as high as 50 points at one point in the season as uh, Scott Laney decides to explore track limits on his way back to the train um, and picks up a time penalty so um, yeah that's one of the worst ways to get uh, track exceeding time penalty um, under safety car um, yeah we'll uh, hopefully as the Jay Geddes um, rocks up finally to the back of the pack um, and there it is it's that and Jay Geddes is still lagging a little bit in the background um, yeah one Jo one Jonesy oh, I had his name on my in my head one alpha male at the front one alpha male at the back um, they're all the filling in the sandwich. Uh, James is going quite quick, um, and hopefully he doesn't. Yeah, I can see this going quite badly because um, he's got to allow the safety car to get in the pit lane, but he isn't allowed the safety car to get in the pit lane. Not really. So there could be a bit. He's going to be on the limit. Oh, and he goes now. 
Um, and yeah, he got a bit caught up on the limiter. So Ned Claw is going to have a little look around the outside. They're side by side. The Red Bull of Bean and Craig going side by side. They're going to go free wide into turn one. Is Bean going to make a double overtake? All oh, side by side with Craig as well. They're now they're side by side for third and fourth as the McLaren gets in the way. Oh my word, the McLaren gets in the way. Don't squeeze him into the wall. Oh my word. Ned Claw is proving the biggest roadblock in the world at the moment. Jonesy pulls clear. Is Craig going to go down the inside? Give me a good camera angle. He doesn't. He opts for it. But Craig gets ahead of SLR Bean. And, oh, Craig's going to go down the inside, I think. Oh, he thinks better of it. Oh, and Dodgy. Has he got damage? Um, so it looks like right. Dodgy may not have damage, but Craig's got a good exit out of Lesmo too. He's going to go side by side up towards Ascari. Will he make the move around the outside? It's going to be tough. Oh, Craig and Nedcore come together and Nedcore's round. Nedcore is spun round by off the side pod, side pod of Craig. And that is a virtual safety car. Or oh, that collision. And debris on the court. Yeah. Um, it was close. They're fighting very hard. And they come together. Um, I don't really know. It, it was one of those where... Um, the person on the inside of Scott squeezing into the pit lane. Um, he's taking this opportunity. Yeah, um, but yeah, it was one of those where um, really didn't. Snickle was spinning the pit lane as well um, after he's covered from that crash. But yeah, we've got Cal Smith looking eager to get underway, and he's got a brilliant restart as Cal Smith. He's already going down the inside of Curva Grande and is ahead of the Red Bull man. Um, as ahead of them, Crafty's going to have a little look. I think Gareth's going to have a comeback. Oh, he just managed to back out of it in the end. Oh, but Cal Smith's on the gravel. Oh, that's going to be uh, a bit dangerous, but he managed to keep it sticking. Gareth is back past the Hash driver as uh, Sprightly watches on. Um, this could get a little bit interesting. There's this little trio of cars uh, barrels down the straight towards Parabolica. Cal Smith. Is using the arrest to defend, and that should be that. Uh, side by side in the background between Jay Geddes and Scott Laney. Jay Geddes makes the move, takes up a time penalty for his troubles, as uh, Craig is now within DRS range of our race leader Jonesy. Uh, Hypers is looking keen as Stevo and Dead Paul going at it. Oh, Stevo's off. Oh, oh don't. Thank God for ghosting because that would have been an airplane crash. Um, he did pick up damage, unfortunately, so he will, uh, yeah, he will venture into the pit lane. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, have a look. Is uh, Cal Smith and uh, Gareth are going to go at it again? Um, and two McLarens, unfortunately. Uh, the race has gone well, completely downhill as. Uh, Al Smith is having a look, but it's not going to be good enough. A flying Lemon is close to the back of Jules. Jules is close to the back of Colden, who's in the, the top ten. Um, but Jonesy is your race leader, but for how much longer? I um, don't know. He is the only man on the track who has not pitted yet. Steve has decided to put the soft compound tyres on. I'm not really sure why. Um, so something's going, going on at the car there, uh, but maybe he wants to battle with his teammate. Uh, Yes. Um, I did check earlier and you're right. Um, I'll just have a look as a... Um, I, I could hear you earlier as uh, Craig has made a move for the lead. Um, I have to check. Oh, I can't hear you now. Um, I don't know, it must have happened when you left the party. Um, oh wait, see, I think Headcore has actually lost the car. Um, and it's gone bad to us for McLaren. Oh, and Nedcore's just spun into the wall as well. 
when he tried to rejoin the track, so he's got damage and he'll have to pit again. He's probably going to be a lap down. Um, yeah, I'm not sure as uh, Swift and Gareth are going at it. Um, I don't know if they can hear you, um, which is a bit odd because I could hear you earlier. Maybe if you, if you, yeah, oh, Nick will try it in the pit lane. Uh, maybe if you leave the party and I'll invite you back. Um, so, yeah, if you leave the party, I'll invite you back. Uh, uh, sorry for people watching. I'm just going to invite Crispy back into the party. Yeah, so sorry for people watching. Um, I don't really know what happened. So uh, hopefully everything is alright. So um, for the viewers, please can you confirm if you can hear Crispy this time around um, when he um, starts speaking. Um, but we do have a move back for 15th place. I can hear you now. She might have to restart. I mean, I don't really need to restart. I mean, it's going to be a pretty pain to restart the stream um, when we're in the middle of the race. Um, I don't really know what to do. Uh, I will. Yeah, I'll uh, keep tabs on the race for you guys. Um, I think Bean is about to make an overtake um, on the next straight. Uh, with Hyper's just in behind. Um, I'm not sure what else we can do in that situation. Um, hopefully there's some sort of safety car in the near future. Uh, uh, could be possible. Um, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I mean, if it might be worth giving it a go. Yeah. Yeah, right. Um, so, we have Hypers overtaking Gareth anyway for a podium position. A net P2. Um, but Hypers does go off into the gravel, so Gareth will have a little sniff back at the racing point. But Hypers does keep the position as uh, Dodgy is up into P11 ahead of a Flying Lemon. Uh, doesn't have damage to his wing as he had a bit of contact earlier on. Um, but yeah, oh, this is a uh, Sprite is out, and that is a virtual safety car, and he has crashed on the exit of Lesmo 2. Um, surprisingly, it wasn't a full safety car. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully we can get Crispy back. Um, wait and see. Is a virtual safety car for Sprite crashing? Unfortunately, out of this Grand Prix. But we see, uh, I don't know if Jonesy is going to venture into the pit lane, doesn't decide to, so he stays out. Um, his Hypers is in trouble. Um, well, it looks like Crafty is going to have a move. Dead Paul Speeds is a pit lane, um, which is not going to help his afternoon. It hasn't really gone that well for him so far. Um, yeah, um, that is that. And Bean is. Very close to the back of Hypers, Scroft is lost out under VSC. Um, but Craig is your leader then. Um, by two seconds in the Alfa Romeo driver. Uh, Jonesy followed by Hypers and Bean in P3 and 4. I'll just try and invite. Oh no, there we go. Um, so we have to wait and see. Uh, Jonesy has missed a trick there. Yeah, I think he has missed a trick. Um, so, uh, we'll see if... Um, oh, let's see if Crispy can be heard. Um, have you... Are you in? Um, 
yeah so if the stream people can let us know what's going on there's uh gareth uh, not gareth beam gets a big talent slapper um Yeah. Um, yeah, and I don't really want to restart the stream in the middle of the race, um, yeah, which is unfortunate. Um, so I might be having to go solo for the rest of the race, which is not, uh, it's unfortunate, of course. Um, so yeah, uh, it doesn't look promising at the moment. Uh, um, there's not much else I can do because I don't want to restart the stream on lap 17 to 27 um, so apologies to the viewers for not being able to hear crispy um, if this was any other scenario um, yeah uh, I would obviously restart the stream but the show must go on um, if you have Scott Laney Grumpy Orange. Um, so you will have me on my own for the rest of the race due to um, some Xbox issues or stream issues, um, which is unfortunate. Um, we don't know what to see. has left the session. Um, so I'll try and get him back in. Um, and yeah, we'll have a look, see if Hyper's can have a move. But he doesn't go for it. And uh, oh, this goes quite deep. So give Crafty an invite. Gives Cal Smith an invite. He has a good run on Crafty. Oh, Crafty gives him a big squeeze, and that's going to be a collision. And it is. And Cal Smith's into the wall, and I think he may have damage, and he does have damage. And Gareth is going to go side by side through Lesmo 2, round the outside of Lesmo 2, and just gets the move done before they make the corner. And that is bad news for Cal Smith towards the end of this Grand Prix. Um, as I'm just going to invite. Um, so, yeah, as here, apologies for not being able to, as Jonesy has pitted, he has, so he finally comes into pits after, uh, well, 18 laps on those tyres, um, and we'll put on the softs, and, uh, Dodgy then makes his way up into P7, after making the pit stop quite late in the safety car period, uh, Crafty, uh, now, in the back of Kuipers once again, there's a little train here for P2, Craig is pulling away, um, and yeah, I think, um, this will be the, really the main battle to the end, uh, Craig is really pulling away at the moment, so uh, I don't think there'll be a fight for the lead, but it looks like there'll be a fight for the podium. Um, a flying lemon on the back of Jules. Um, see if he can make moves as the inner films have decided to just not turn up. Um, yeah. Um, we'll wait and see what's going on. I have to look at the track map. Old school style. Um, wait till they cross the line. Um, but yeah, we'll go on board with SLR Bean then. As he exits the parabolica. Um, I think Craig is almost four seconds ahead, so it's three and a half seconds and rising at the moment. There's a uh, Vipers in the slipstream. Bean does a little weave just to make sure he knows there. Cal Smith does come into the pits, so it puts Dodgy up into P6. Um, there's a uh, Vipers, this big lock up, and I think that's going to allow Crafty to have a little sniff um, and have a go back at him. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, have a look and see if Crafty can make a move and get himself onto the podium. Obviously penalties will come into it, but we won't go on about that too much. Um, thank you to all the viewers watching this stream tonight. Unfortunately, Crispy's had problems with uh, talking on the party, so it's just me for the rest of this race. Um, the only way to fix that would be the restart of the stream, and I, yeah, it would be great for you guys watching um, 
Yeah, it's unfortunate uh, that Chris we can't uh, commentate along with me for the rest of the race, so we can't hear him anyway. Um, I think. Um, yeah, it's a great shame. Um, so hopefully there can be some battles on track. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, on board his hypers, I think he's lost DRS. So that means Crafty's going to have a go back at him. And uh, will he go for a move? It doesn't look like he's going to be close enough. And yeah, he backs out a bit. Um, these tyres are going to start to struggle as a flying lemon comes into the pits. Um, so he's had enough of them tyres already. And Jonesy sets the fastest lap. And he's ahead of Grumpy Orange. And he is absolutely flying at the moment. Um, I don't know where he's going to be able to get up to. Um, but yeah, it looks like he could be on for some decent points come the end of this Grand Prix. Um, but yeah, Craig has, well, really, he's been the class of the field the whole evening. Um, and he's going to slash that championship lead once again. Um, yeah, this we'll uh, have to wait and see. Um, what's going on? Um, but yeah, I think the problem with Dodgy's strategy was pitting late on the safety car. May it may have been worth double second, it may not have been. Um, Crafty's fell off the back of Hypers now, and Hypers is going again at SLR Bean, and he's going to have a run down towards someone who doesn't really have much ERS to play with. Uh, so, will he be able to go for the move? Jonesy is making gains again, so he looks like he's going to go for another move in the near future, well, especially on this straight. Um, but yeah, Hypers is too far back. Go on board with Jonesy, and well, we haven't even made the start finish straight, and it's always here. already side by side. Um, and they're going to be side by side. Laney, Gimmerman, Squeeze, Alex it, and he cuts back to the racing line. Down the inside, then goes Jonesy into turn one, and he makes his way up into P9. And now he sets his sights on SLR Colden. Um, so yeah, they're the only really battles going on. Everyone's spread out. Will there be a safety car late in the day? If we wait and see. That would certainly spice things up. But it looks like um, SLR Hypers then is going to have another go. Or oh, we're definitely going to hustle Beans to the checkered flag. That is for sure. Um, is, uh, yeah, Scott sits the fastest lap. The 121.999. Call the police, please. Um, it's Hypers to get a bad run for Ascari. And yeah, he's going to put him on the back foot and he's at rest. Well, he hasn't really got much to play with, and Bean's got a lot more to play with. Um, so yeah, we'll see. And yeah, he's quite far back. And Crafty's going to start back into the DRS. So uh, yeah, it's another lap he's going to spend behind. The Red Bull and the same with Crafty. Um, if that's what it's up a three second time, honey. Um, his race is really going downhill. Um, after that, contact with Crafty is oh, that's side by side moment between Cowsmith and he gets forced off the track a little bit by Deadpool. Will he have a second bite of the cherry coming in to turn one? He's got the fuel line on. He's very low on fuels. He is uh, going to have to save fuel later on in this Grand Prix. He's, uh, yeah, he's going to make a move down towards turn one. Can he make a stick? And he slots ahead of Deadpool into turn one and makes the move up into P12. Uh, Jonesy is going to go look down the inside of SI Cold and doesn't make the move stick. He thinks better of it and stays in P9. He has got a lot more pace than the Hass in front of him. Um, he just needs to bide his time. Um, this has got a few laps to go. He's got to be quick with these moves, but um, yeah, he's got. I think he can get as high as P7. I don't know if he can get much higher than that. We we'll have to wait and see. Is he going to dare go for a move into Ascari? He doesn't. Six behind Hypers again is all over the back of uh, SLR Bean. As Jonesy has a pretty poor exit, and it looks like Jules has had a bad exit as well. And Bean does a little weave on the straight. Uh, don't want to be doing too much. Of that we catch the attention of race control and of the stewards as Hypers goes deep into the uh, Retifilio chicane and yeah 
Uh, is it Gen Z? Picks up a free second time penalty for his troubles. Uh, looks like on the exit of Parabolica, uh, but he's going to have a run on, on Jules. Too far back to go for a move there, to even dare go for a move. And uh, that is him settling in behind, and it's still Hyper settling in behind. Has it still been Hypers and Crafty 2, 3, and 4, and Craig just coasting out front, really, at this stage? Jonesy darting around at the back of Jules, but he's going to have to stick behind for now and wait again. If he saw us run down to Ascari all the next lap, as, uh, yeah, Scott Laney rejoining this fight, and you get up into P8. Um, I expect JNZ to get past Jules, probably here by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, he's going to uh, have a little run. And oh, that's going to be close. Bit of contact. Well, just about left the car's whip. And he's in to P7. So can he. Oh, I mean, he's got two laps, three laps to catch. Uh, Dodgy and that's seven seconds so have a look but we're on board with Hypers he's going to go for a move he isn't still going to stick behind Crafty is just biding his time behind this so this trio separated by a second going on Gareth has just not got the pace to catch up uh, Dodgy is sticking in behind in P6 obviously uh, penalties can come into the fray there's a Jules looks like he's having a can have a go back at Jonesy Oh, gives him the squeeze onto the kerb and gets the better run with the softer tyres. It's Scott Laney in the background. He's having to go around the outside. Oh, Vessel Arcole and Kerber Grande. And it's a Grande move for the Renault driver. And he's up into P9 at this late stage. As I imagine those tyres at the front must be crying uh, to get off the car and get into Parc Verme. Um, and for this race to be over. Uh, the safety car, the virtual safety car did obviously help, but it's a long way on these tyres. Um, and yeah, we'll have a look, but this hype is going to go for maybe probably wait for the DRS. Um, Beam got 44% on his ERS. So, Hypers in the slipstream, can he make the move finally? Have a go into the top two. Uh, and on the track, he's going to pull out to the right hand side and he's going to go alongside and ahead of the Red Bull driver and he's up into P2 uh, will be, be able to fight back he just park it on the apex nicely and Hypers is up into P2 or is he? Beans on the track he's off the oh, well, half it on the grass so is Crafty going to have a run is he going to go around the outside of Kerber Grande there's going to be two around the outside moves right, that, that turn three Crafty's going to go down the inside gives Bean a little squeeze to the edge of the track and Bean after looking uh, good for a top two finish and now down into P4 and Gareth is slowly but surely catching up Dodgy catching up a bit Jones his tyres not really giving him the grip he wants and Jules is still in the hunt for that position um, on those ageing hard tyres on the oldest on the grid um, but yeah Bean obviously losing out can Crafty then no oh, Crafty's in the wall and Crafty's out of the session and there's a yellow flag right on the end, lap 26. And I've just gone on board and out of Ascari, Crafty crashes. Bean is promoted up to podium position. And that is heartbreak for the Williams man. And he's crashed at Ascari and, and just needed another lap to get through. And unfortunately, it's game over for the Williams driver. The other Williams driver, Jules, is... I'm try and line up and move on Jonesy bro looks a bit but we are on the last lap so get your driver of the day votes in in the chat um, we'll have a look unfortunately for Crafty just yeah it is heartbreaking um, it's for the Williams driver he's had such a good season so far and yeah it, it was just one of those things he obviously got a bit too wide or a bit too much curb in Ascari and he is unfortunately out of the session um, but we are coming to the conclusion of the Italian Grand Prix as uh, Stevo is about to get lapped. Um, but yeah, they're not really making any moves, so it's going to come down to penalties and they cross the line. Jules is really the closest man to anybody on track, but he's not really looking for a move. Stevo picks up a free second time penalty, but he's down in 16th place. So then, we'll go on board 
with the Alpha Tauri. Really set it up from qualifying. Managed to, well, he fell behind SLRB uh, on the safety car, but got back past them. It was an Alpha Tauri in real life that won the Italian Grand Prix. It's going to be an Alpha Tauri in the game of Craig, and he poses the championship gap and wins the Italian Grand Prix. In second place has been on penalties. If Hypers finishes third, Gareth is going to finish fourth. Dodgy is going to finish fifth. Jones is going to come across the line in sixth place. Uh, but Jules, oh, Jules doesn't beat him on penalties. Can Scott Laney jump up? No, he can't. Uh, Colden and Grumpy Orange come across close together and they swap positions. Kyle Smith will come across the line, has a lot of penalties. Drop down to P12. Um, Claire Paul comes across the line and puts Kyle Smith down to P13. Uh, Greg Geddes finishes 14th. SLR Scott is going to finish in 15th place. Uh, weaves across the line for good measure. Uh, Steve O. Um, it's going to go for fastest lap by the looks of it. Um, I don't know what fastest lap is. Um, it is a 121.9. So is Steve going to steal fastest lap on the last lap of the Grand Prix? He's going to come round Parabolica, come up towards the line, and I don't think he did take fastest lap in the end. Um, but yeah, unfortunately for. Crafty, it's a crash at Ascari on lap 26 of 27. And it uh, unfortunately probably missed out on the podium. Um, but yeah, heartbreaking for the Williams driver. Um, yeah, racing can be a cruel, cruel thing sometimes. Um, so I feel for him. Um, but it is Craig who has looked dominant this whole session. And it's going to take all the plaudits from everyone, really, um, this after, uh, this evening um, or tonight. And uh, yeah, uh, Bean pops up into second place, so he's continuing his good runner form, and he'll close the championship gap as well. Uh, Hypers rounds out the podium. Um, we have some driver of the day votes in, looks like. Craig is going to pick up drive of the day. If you got any more votes, please be free. So here is our race uh, results. Craig then is uh, the winner once again from pole position as one, two, three, and four on the grid. Finish one, two, three, four on track. Um, Craig and Bean were the only two that didn't actually have penalties uh, by the looks of it. Uh, but yeah, Hypers rounds out the podium, then comes Gareth, Dodgy, Jonesy on a good drive, uh, Jules and Scott Laney from the back of the grid, finish 7th, 8th respectively, Grumpy Orange in 9th, Colin in 10th, and then here are the rest of your finishers outside the top 10, um, unfortunately Crafty would create our DNFs, I think it was 5 DNFs in the end. Um, Blatantly Laney drive of the day. I mean, well, yeah, from the back of the grid, Jules and Laney made a sterling effort. Um, but yeah, I have to invite the lads into the uh, party so we can hear from them. Um, so bear with me on that. Uh, invite to party. Who have we got here? Uh, we've got Craig. Um, if I can find this Hypers, can I find... I think I've gone past him, actually. No, I haven't. I can't find him. Uh, uh, we'll invite them. SLR Bean, where are you? There we go. Invite to party. Right, uh, so we'll just wait on Bean to join the, the party. Um, we'll get our interviews underway. Um, it's just going to be me doing the interviews as Chris, we had an audio 
problem, um, which is unfortunate. Um, but I think that was um, a pretty clean race from most people. Um, good racing throughout the whole time. And yeah, um, I think obviously Craig was a little bit, he always had his head above everyone's shoulders. So he'll take, um, well, he'll deserve every plaudit that he gets from this race. But we do start with our third place man, and that was Esma Hypers. Please make sure that all three of you have ticked your box um, to start off with. So yeah, Hypers, um, yeah, he had a tussle at the end there. Um, and obviously, well, penalties were name of the game at the end. Yeah, I think um, I think top two didn't actually have any penalties. Um, I think unfortunately, I think Crafty didn't have any penalties as well. So, um, oh, I think um, oh, apparently nobody can hear you um, because the audio isn't working. So we'll try something new here. Um, I'm going to restart the stream. <laughs> 